Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, June 30th. I brought these cards out here and I set them down. And we have this. This is the lovers, okay? This is an unexpected choice in love handed to you from above, okay? So you may be faced with an unexpected choice, a new partner, or if you're with a partner, you know, there could be some, and I, I, you know, I don't like to contone this, but there could be somebody that comes into your life that is, you have an instant spark with, you have an instant attraction with, you know, you look in their eyes and you know, you know. Um, this is something that is an undeniable connection. It's, 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 it's being handed to you from above. And then, you know, as when I set it down, watch when I set it down, that, that was, this is what happened, okay? So I set it down. And that, that, and so anyway, we have this three of, we have this three of wands next. This is telling me that it's, it's time to move on. It's time, your ships are finally coming in. You are about to be rewarded, okay? So just keep that in mind. I feel as though there is a new opportunity coming in that is quite unexpected it's welcome um this person is not your usual type they don't look like your usual type it's not in the face okay see he's got a mask on his face it's not it's not on the outside exterior that matters you have to look beyond the mask you have to look and see what's on the inside of this person this person is not your usual type okay um, there is going to probably be an instant spark and, there, and it looks like there will be growth as well this is going to be very very tempting so I feel as though you are probably being rewarded in some way, um, perhaps with a new love interest. Here we have uh, the Hermit. This is about stepping back to become aware of what you really want, making a plan for the future. Um, it's about self-awareness, taking a time out to become aware of where you're going, what you want. It's a, it's a look inside, look inside yourself. And I do know that today is a day of silence. This is like the fourth reading I have done. And um, it's a day of contemplating where where do I want to go who am I looking for you know that kind of thing so I think today may be a day of contemplation okay um, here we have a new beginning about to start this is the world card you've learned a lesson you have you've learned some sort of lesson now one phase of your life is ending and you are about to begin another one okay you're, but you have stepped over the finish line in some situation. One, I think it because, you know, all this karma that's going on with the planets and the moons and all that. I feel like there is one phase in your life that has been completed and you have a new one right in front of you. Okay. There's a new opportunity um, being presented to you. Okay. It's going to come. It's on the way. You earned it. One chapter of your life has ended. That phase is done. You're about to embark on another one. Oh, well, well, I already told you about this, okay? So there is an opportunity for love unexpectedly, and this is a reward, okay? For those of you that have ended a phase, you have ended a cycle in your life, you have absolutely let it end. You've taken the time out, you've reflected, you've come up with the, t the decision that, you know what, I I'm done, I'm not staying there anymore. You are being rewarded with a brand new beginning, perhaps in love, this person is is could be a soulmate, okay? Here we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is um Here we have Gemini. Here we have Virgo. I feel as though there is a new opportunity that could be very passionate there's a lot of passion here there's a lot of strength there's a lot of confidence you could be dealing with somebody who is very confident his leader has an authoritative role whether that's you or another person there's a somebody that is knows what they want very very secure and stable with who they are this person is is um, has a lot of energy um,
has a sense of humor and can take really good care of you. This person is, is a, it can take really, really good care of you. Oh boy. But you're, you're really worried about it. You're really worried about opening your heart. It feels as though you have, you, maybe you're feeling like you can't open up emotionally. You can't, it feels as though there's a lot of depression here. There's a lot of sadness. And I think that's within you, fear. Maybe you're, maybe you're feel, fearing that this will never come. You know, this time out that you take, if you see they're marrying each other, this time out that you take to reflect is, is a time to release those negative thoughts, release the, that sadness, release that guilt so that you can be open to this new beginning, okay? To have an actual true new beginning, to start on a new path, you need to not bring this with you. You need to not bring this worry, this sadness, this depression, the regrets, the guilt, the anxiety with you. You need to let that go. This is also a Jesus consciousness, becoming aware of your own thoughts. Don't let the past worries, whatever you brought into the last relationship that didn't, that ended, don't bring that with you into this one. You need to have confidence. You need to have courage. You need to have strength, okay? You need to be able to be confident in who you are. Don't bring those worries with you into this, this new opportunity that you're being offered. Of course, somebody started to mow the lawn because they know I'm outside, must be. Um, now, nines are about closure, okay? We have a nine here. They're mirroring each other. There's, there's a door that has closed for a reason. Don't, don't worry about it. Let the worry go. That closed because you have somebody that is better suited for you. This is a better opportunity. So you do have a better opportunity that is being offered to you because you closed a door. Here we have the King of Cups, the Two of Wands. You know, the future is right in front of you. It's time to move forward. No longer looking back. The past, is, it's over. The, the, the phase that you are in is over. It's like the decision has been made to move forward. It's no longer behind me. I'm moving forward. Now, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is, you could be dealing with somebody in the future that has really, really good intentions for you. You know, maybe they, that you receive some sort of message of love from this person. Whatever this person is offering, it appears that it is stable, it is secure, and you can take it to the bank. You can take it to the bank, okay? I feel as though there's a sudden change, a sh sudden shift that happens, okay? Woo! The Two of Cups. So yeah, there's an opp new opportunity of love here that is coming in for somebody because they have closed a significant chapter in their life. This new opportunity is being offered from, this is Archangel, or I always say Arch, it's Archangel um, Raphael, I believe. Anyways, the Angel of Love is like Cupid. They're bringing you this, this soulmate connection after you have decided to finally close that cycle. It's done, it's done, I'm not looking back. I'm aware of what happened. I know what I need to do. There's one step left. Let go of the worry. Let go of the worry. There is an opportunity for new love, a soulmate connection perhaps that you can absolutely take to the bank. Okay, this is something solid, long term. This person is not your usual type. They don't look like your usual type, but they are stable. They are secure and they will take very, very good care of you. But you need to let go. This is, this is great advice right here. You need to walk away completely from the past, okay? Walk away completely. This is walking away. Just walk away from the person that had the ego, the person that had to prove themselves. Walk away completely. Don't bring it with you. Don't bring those regrets. Don't bring that, that, that sadness. Don't bring that worry. That per walk away from that person. That person wanted to fight. That person didn't want to make it work with you. So you need to let it go. Just let it go because that's the, that's the last step to bringing this in. Some of you have. Some of you have decided to truly walk away from this. 
And because you have, you are being rewarded with an, a solid new opportunity that you can take to the bank that leads to something solid, stable, secure, and loving, and committed. This person could be your soulmate, could be your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have Virgo here. Um, and that's who you have. So it could be any sign, but I do feel like there is a new opportunity that is, the, it's like the world is absolutely in your hands and I think this is a decision or this, this whatever it is that's coming in is going to come in very unexpectedly out of the blue and this connection is going to be um, undeniable, okay? With the lover's card and the two of cups, there's a soulmate union here that somebody has deserved, that you deserve it, okay? Because you decide to walk away from somebody that didn't see your worth. All they wanted to do was fight, and you're worth more than that. I know that I'm worth more than that. So we're gonna get a couple of these. I do apologize about the lawnmower next door. Hopefully you guys can still hear me just fine. Um, I'm gonna get an angel romance for this new connection that's coming in. There's a new love connection that could lead to something super solid, very, very solid and permanent. Um, it's something that is coming because you closed the door, okay? Closure, closure, closure. This is the completion of a cycle. Nines are about closure. You guys have closed the door and, the, and this angel of love sees it. So they're bringing you this new opportunity. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You don't need to control it. Let this other person chase you. Let it happen. Don't try to control it, okay? It's out of your control. The world, the universe has your back. Let go of the control issues. Let this unfold naturally. There is an opportunity for love, but don't try to control it. Just go with the flow. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This person, like I said, is not your usual type. You're being called to give it a chance. They don't look like your usual type. They don't act like your usual type. They're, it's a completely different situation. It's a whole new phase that you're embarking on. And you may be a little bit worried because this person isn't your usual type. But you are being called, like I to let go of the control issues. Give this a chance. There's an opportunity for a soulmate connection here with somebody you've known before. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So there's a reason why things happen. Have faith, have faith. I feel as though there is some sort of door that you have closed and you are being rewarded with a new, a new love. Soulmate connection, somebody you've known before. So this is, I don't know who this is for, but this is absolutely for somebody. I do apologize for the lawnmower next door. It's, you know, that's the way it goes. That's how, the, that's how it goes. You know, there's always obstacles in the way of everything of everything all you have to do is overlook those obstacles be optimistic not pessimistic for some of you are going to be upset about that lawnmower don't look at it like that look at it as yeah it was an obstacle i overcome it i can't control it i can't control it you can't control it either it's uncontrollable let go of control issues go with the flow whatever happens is meant to happen for a reason that was unexpected. I didn't expect him to mow his lawn. There is going to be an unexpected opportunity that comes into your life in which you have an opportunity for love. Talk to you later.